Hi everyone, it's Catherine here and it is day 14 of my January daily blog and today I want to talk to you about something I feel very strongly about which is the gender pay gap and the need for parity in the salaries between men and women performing similar roles. It's been in the press a lot recently um, in the UK as well as the US and you have probably heard calls for organisations to take a look at what's happening and to take action to redress situations where men and women are being paid different amounts for carrying out similar roles. And while I agree that organisations do need to do this, I think that there's a lot that we can do as women to start moving the dial ourselves as well. The first thing I think we can do is to think about our contribution in the workplace and articulate the value that we add in a slightly different way. So I think whenever you first come to this, the way you tend to articulate your value add is turning up to the office and doing your job. And a lot of women discount their contribution because they say that they don't spend as much time as men in the office because perhaps they work part time, they have family commitments, for example, or perhaps they feel that they just don't want to work very, very long hours because of um, their own personal reasons. And while I think that makes sense, I think that time spent in the office is not a brilliant way to measure contribution. I think we could be thinking about our contribution in a way that aligns more closely with the strategy of our organisations. Most organisations are trying to generate revenue, make sure they're efficient or to have an impact. And I think if we can consider our contribution along those lines, then we perhaps start to feel that we are actually contributing more than perhaps we thought initially. The second thing is we need to get better at asking for what we want. So where we know that we're being paid below the market rate or we're being paid less than our peers, we need to get a little bit braver about having conversations around salary. And I know for a lot of people this is like super stressful, um, but there are ways through that stress. And I think the main thing is to have a conversation about the facts. And the facts are normally the market rate for your role, what your contribution is and what your plans are for the future. If you can construct a conversation about your salary around those sorts of issues, then it tends to be less emotional and less about asking for validation that you are um, doing a good job and asking someone to like you, which is how we often go into these conversations. And the third thing is I think we need to support each other a lot more so that when um, someone is asking for a pay rise, that really reflects their contribution. They're not just asking for themselves, they're asking for all of us. And they make it easier each time another person comes along and asks to be paid what she's worth. So that's my little two cents worth for today on the gender pay gap and I'll speak to you tomorrow, bye.